going to be turning quite a bit cooler in most parts of the country over the rest of the holiday weekend. But having said that, still a fair amount of dry weather around. That's the culprit, that's a cold front, and it is introducing cooler weather, these northwesterly winds coming down across the Atlantic already. Those northwesterly winds have got to many parts of the country, and as the day goes on, they'll filter further and further southwards, probably taking those temperatures down in the process. But they're not going to be very strong in most parts of the country, fairly light winds. But we also have an area of low pressure close by, and that's going to be responsible for setting off one or two thundery showers. But there is a big difference temperature-wise across the country, and those northwesterly winds make that difference. You can see there in the north and in the west, temperatures have climbed, or not <laughs> necessarily climbed, but fallen back to around about the normal for the time of year. Whereas in central and eastern parts, that early morning mist and fog has cleared now, and those temperatures are going up very nicely. And it will be a warm 22 in many places during this afternoon. But already signs of trouble on the radar. A little uh, echo there near to Great Yarmouth. That's the first of the showers. And we do have one or two other showers around across the country as well. So for Scotland and Northern Ireland, it'll be bright enough. There'll be some sunshine, but just here and there, one or two outbreaks of light rain or uh, lightish showers. For England and Wales, to begin with, at least a good deal of dry weather, but it will be cloudier than of late in the north and in the west. But in the uh, central and eastern parts of England, a fair amount of sunshine, but cloud will bubble up here and there, one or two thundery showers breaking out during the afternoon. At the same time, much, much brighter weather, slowly filtering into the rest of Scotland and Northern Ireland. And that means to say, for today's match, the rugby league match, uh, a warm afternoon, light winds, a good deal of sunshine, a remote chance perhaps before the match is out of a shower coming along. Now any of those showers will die away in central and eastern parts of England. So again, we're going to find a misty night with some patches of fog. Northern and western areas continue to have a few spots of rain, but a big difference over Scotland and Northern Ireland, because as those skies clear, those temperatures are going to drop really low, much lower than for a long time, touch of frost even in places. Here's tomorrow's chart, that uh, front still having quite a job to uh, struggle out of the way. So England and Wales, much more cloudy tomorrow. Still some brightness in eastern areas where there could be the odd shower. Scotland and Northern Ireland, a fresher feel to the day with some sunshine and most places dry. But here's a word of warning for the north tomorrow night. Don't put those bedding plants out because it is going to be quite cold and frosty. And then moving into Monday, we'll get rid of uh, some cloudy weather and a few spots of rain. Most parts brightening up, but again some frost in the north.